hello guys welcome to my channel my name is joy i'm a fashion tutor and a fashion designer today's video is going to be about necklines now the neckline surrounds the neck and um, it's usually at the top edge or around the chest area of your dress or top there are several necklines to pick from we have the sweetheart neckline which is very very popular the queen Anne neckline the scallop neckline the scoop neckline four corner neckline the v neckline the basic neckline the key old neckline and so on there are several of them that you can pick from when making your dress or top so let's go straight into the pattern drafting now the first thing that i would do is to determine the to determine the shoulder seam the length of the shoulder seam that i'm working with now this uh, this is just a small scale mm -hmm. but the basic and um, adult neck width is usually um three inches to three and a half so just mark that okay so after marking the neck the shoulder seam the next thing will be to the next thing will be to determine the depth of the neck how deep do you want your queen and neckline to be um this if this is my bust line i can just go up by one inch it actually depends on your preference how do you like it how deep do you like it so uh, i'm not going to give you any measurements for that but i'm using one for this purpose okay so from this point now this is how deep i want my queen and neckline to be i'll step up by um, let's say one and a half inches draw another line just from this side and then on this line i'll from the armhole area i'll go in by two inches mm -hmm. now the next thing will be to connect i'll connect this point here to my shoulder seam there let me use my marker to make it more visible just connect it like this mm -hmm. And use my whole ruler to connect to the center front. Now, this part you can decide to make it a sweeter shape or even a straight neckline, just very straight. It's fine, whichever way you decide to do it. So, this is just a basic queen and neckline. There is a beautiful queen and neckline, which I'll be doing another video for. This one here is just it's basic. So this is what it looks like at the end of the day. Uh, queen and neckline with a sweetheart at this part. Now, after drafting this neckline, I will advise that you do a tightening at the uh, around this area because um, there is likely to be gaping. If you see this part is on bias, it's very curved. So there is usually uh, gaping around that area. So you do a little tightening you know, from your your bust point here. From your bust point, you just draw a line out towards the neck, and then you could do half inch tightening or three over eight, depending on how wide how wide the neckline is. Okay, so this is my tightening. Just, um, just do this, close it off. And um, if you need to redraw the neckline, please do that. Now, as you can see, here is a popping up. So, what you need to do is open up the dart in order to transfer the excess to the waist that there's an excess from this part that needs to be transferred to the waist that. Okay, let's take it down. Now you can see that my my neckline has um, adjusted. So all you need to do is just to redraw, and then you cut cut out. Okay. So with this, my neckline is secured. Okay. So this is what I have: my queen Anne neckline with tightening to reduce any form of gaping on this upper on this area okay so the sweetheart neckline is the kind of neckline you'll see in your in most wedding gowns uh most of most of our dresses and tops 
It's a very beautiful neckline that you can you can adopt if you want to look very unique and classy. So how do we draft the sweetheart neckline? The first thing is to determine your shoulder seam. I'm just going to be using my normal basic shoulder seam, which is three inches. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using I'm using two. So um, show, neck width from here to here, my neck width, and this is my shoulder seam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so determine how deep you want your sweetheart neckline to be. If this is my bust line, I can take it up to this point. I can take it up to my bust point. But for modesty's sake, you can just do maybe one or two inches above your bust point. Mm -hmm. Then you draw a line from there, like this. After which you will you will um you determine how wide you want this part to be. Huh? So I'll just use um let's say four inches, let's say from three inches for this tutorial. Then you also go up by say two inches. Hmm? Go up by two inches, draw another line. By the time you become a professional, you might not need to do all of this. Okay. I'll just come down. Then connect. Connect like this from this point here. The next thing will be to just cut this out. Now, before I finish cutting, um, the sweetheart neckline most times has a yoke. So if mine is going to have a yoke, it means that there will be a neckline at this upper part. I'm going to have two necklines, like here will be like, let's say three inches by the normal neck width. Then I'll connect this part. That's if I want it to have a yoke. If you don't want it to have a yoke, you don't need to do this. Okay? So, let me cut out this snake line first. Okay, so let's say I want it to have a yoke. I want my sweetheart neckline to have a yoke. It means that after connecting this one, I'll also connect to this ending part of my this towards this ample area. So this is how my neckline will look. Okay, this is how my neckline will look. So this upper part is the yoke, and this down part is the body. The bodies, okay? Now remember to do your tightening. Don't forget, you're going to do your tightening. I'll just draw a line towards the shoulder. Now if um, if um, the yoke part is going to be a stretchy fabric, I'm also going to do tightening on this part. But if it's not stretchy, I won't do any tightening here. I'll just do my tightening on this part only. Please take note. So you could do up to half inches or more, depending on the fabric of choice. So if I'm doing a um, half inch, I'll just take a quarter here and quarter here. Hmm? Quarter inch and quarter inch. Connect to my bust point like this. And if I'm doing tightening on the yoke parts, I'll also connect to my shoulder like this then cut out after cutting out i'll just redraw i'll redraw the lines after after doing the tightening before i can do the tightening i'll have to just open up like that okay so just close it and then redraw my Make one. Okay, so this is it. So if I'm doing tightening on the yoke, I'm just close it like this. That's if I'm using a very stretchy fabric so that the yoke part can also be fitted. I'll just do this. Okay. So this is what the yoke looks like right now. This is the yoke, and this is the main bodies. I'm just going to This is it. My sweetheart neckline and a yoke.
So this is my sweetheart neckline and a yoke. It's very easy to draft and uh, you can add it to any of your dresses and it will stand out and look very classy. Basically, the basic neckline for an average adult is usually three, three by three, three inches by three inches or depending on the person's um, neck depth, you can measure, mm -hmm. but three inches by three inches is standard for an average adult. So I'll just square a line out and then bring the one from the shoulder seam down, bring it down, and then connect with the curve to form my basic neckline that I can add to my shirt, to my dresses, and whatever I'm making, or whatever I'm making that requires a basic neckline, this curve ruler is not giving me the shape that I want. That's why I'm using this one right now. Okay, so this is the neckline. Then we just go. There is no tightening on the basic neckline. It's quite high up the neck, so you don't need any tightening. So this is the basic neckline. Very easy to make. You can add it to your shirt, you can add it to your dress, to your tops, or whatever you, you are making that you don't want a very busy or just want something simple. Go for the basic neckline, okay? So the neckline, very popular neckline, sit on, on um, is, it, is it scrub, they call it, that neckline on most of our nurses and uh, those healthcare practitioners you see in the hospital, you see that V neckline, hmm? Very easy neckline to make. So I'll just get my basic neckline first. Just get my basic neckline. Then determine the depth. Your V neckline can be um, slanted or I'm doing seven inches. Or it can be a, a slight curve. You can use a slight curve part of your ruler or use this part to get a very slanted V. So it's a very simple neckline. I'll just connect here. So the depth of my neck and that is it so if i'm using the slanted one i'll cut out this but if i want the slight curve which is a bit more stylish a bit more stylish than the slanted curve i'll use this part of my ruler so i'll cut the two of them for you to see and you, you decide which one you prefer So this is the this is the one that is on slanted, very beautiful. Then for the one that is slightly curved, I'll just cut this one out. Okay. So this one looks wider than the first one. So this is another kind of V-neck. Now remember to do your tightening, very important. Please do your tightening as the neck line gets deeper. Ensure to do tightening. So for this one, just a very small thing I'll be taking out. I'll just do half a uh, quarter inch. Quarter inch is okay. Connect to my boss points. Just to avoid gaping. Now I'm not touching the shoulder area because I didn't touch the shoulder when drafting the neckline. Now this is just a basic V neckline. I could also decide to reduce the shoulder seam okay let me do that so that you'll see the beauty so i'm just taking out two inches now this one is going to be very very wide very wide big neckline and v neckline so let me just connect some of this now as long as i've touched the shoulder area i'm going to do shoulder tightening i'll so just come down by quarter inch then connect to my shoulder tip here I'll cut out this part and then um it's a bit deeper than it was before so my tightening will increase a little bit by one eight i'm doing a three eight tightening i'm doing a three eight tightening okay so i'll cut now i'll cut out the next one i'll cut out this on the shoulder and close my tightening. So if I do that, I just open my dots so I can transfer the excess to the waist. Just close it like this. It's very small. And tape it down. And then we draw the line 
I guess we draw the line like this. I'll put all this excess and I have my slanted V neckline with the shoulder seam reduced. So this is it. The KO neckline is a very popular neckline in recent times. Yeah, very popular. Now it has two parts, the yoke part and the bodice part. So the first thing that I'll do is to determine the depth of my neck. How deep do I want this part to be? So I'll be using, I'll be using six inches. Mm -hmm. Then my basic neckline will also be there. I'll mark out my basic neckline for this one half. Then my shoulder seam. Just decide how much you want. It's how deep you want it to be. Okay, so that's it. So I'm going to have my basic neckline here. First of all, then for the PO area, how much was the depth, the distance you want for the yoke? Um, let's say I'm using two. You decide that for yourself, depending on what you're making. So this is the depth of my yoke area. That's how deep it will be. I'll connect it, draw a line out like this. And this is the other line for the depth. This is looking a bit small, but I believe if you're drafting yours, you'll be using a full scale. So it will come out looking better than this. So I'll decide from this part how deep, how deep inside I want my keyhole to be. Let's say I'm using two inches. Hmm? I have the line here two inches okay then I'll divide this part into two this is one and a half so I'll get a three over three over four so I have another line here the last thing I'll do is to connect this point here to this point and this point to this point let me use my marker so I'll just connect it like this okay like this You have several shapes you can make. It's not the only shape you can make. There are other shapes. I could decide to just leave it like this. No, no, I can't leave it like this. Let's say like this. Hmm? Like this, or I could decide to make this part a sweetheart. Whichever one you decide is fine. Hmm? It can be a sweetheart, or just this one. Okay. So this is my key old neckline and um, ensure to do your tightening and put out first and put on the basic neckline okay so i'll just connect this one to the end of my clamp over here like this okay okay then do my tightening i'll be doing okay now just watch closely. We'll be doing a tightening on this one, on this body part, and on the yoke. Now, if the yoke is a very stable fabric, I won't bother myself with any tightening. But I'll do a tightening on this one towards this area like this. Just connect here. Hmm? Then whatever tightening you are doing, let's say I'm doing, I'm doing a tightening of a quarter inch like this, quarter inch. Okay. So I'm not doing any tightening on this part. This is the yoke and this is the bodice. Okay, so let me cut out the yoke area first. Hmm? That's the yoke. Then um, let's say I decide to use this one on the bottom part. I just want to do something creative. Okay. So I'll just do my tightening, lock it up, open up my guards, and then close this in. Okay, so I'll redraw. I just have to redraw. Redraw the core. Okay, so this is it. 
Now, there are several other um, five main controls that one will need to do, but these are just basic ones. And this is it. My key goal neckline. The right neckline is, um, I'm going to be using, because I'm cutting my pattern, and I want to show you, I'll be using two patterns. Hmm? I'll be using two patterns. But normally, if you are drafting a, a, a wrap neckline, one pattern is enough to cut on your fabric. So, the wrap neckline has a kind of overlap on each other from left to right. So, what I need to do is to open up my pattern like this and determine how deep, first of all, how deep I want my shoulder seam to be. Then I'll also determine how deep or the depth of my wrap. Do I want it to stop along the, the side length? Do I want it to stop here? Do I want it to stop along the side length? Or I want it to come down to the waistline of my pattern. So I'll just decide that. Okay. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll reduce my... Now, as you touch your shoulder seam, the neckline becomes deeper, wider, rather, becomes wider. Take note of that. Once you, sh you touch your shoulders in the neckline, the neckline area becomes very, very wide. And I don't know if you can deal with that, but I'm going to do that anyway. I'm reducing my shoulder seam to three inches and I want my wrap to come to, come to my waistline. Mm -hmm exactly at this point so the next thing to do is just to connect these points you can do a slight curve or a straight line mm -hmm. it can be slightly curved or a straight line whichever one you prefer it's fine okay so i'll just cut I'll cut two because I want to show you the final look. So let me cut first. Okay. So the wrap neckline overlaps on each other like this. This is one and this is two. Okay. But that's not all. <laughs> there is likely to be serious gaping around this area. The deeper it is, the more cleavage you are showing. At this point, I don't think anything will show. But as you come lower, it's likely to be cleavage showing. So now I'm, I need to tighten this line because it's quite... Uh, it's unbiased and it has fabrics um, misbehave on biased grain it's likely to be serious gaping so I'll just do this a very simple way of tightening I'm taking out half inch full half inch mm -hmm. from this side and then on the shoulder same I'll just come down by quarter quarter is fine also prevent any form of gaping on the shoulder seam okay so this is my basic tightening i'll close it up and then we draw this line we draw it oh i didn't open my dot I guess we draw this line. Put up the excess. And cut up the excess on the shoulder side too. Okay. So this is it. Should have pulled it in together. Anyway, I've done the contouring on this one. Now if I'm cutting on my fabric, of course, I'll just be using this. I will not have to. I don't have to 
drag two patterns. No, one is enough. Hmm? So this is it. Just place it on your fabric. Right? You can try out any of these neckwines using this method, and you're sure to get the best from from your results. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Mm, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and uh, click on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And also, drop your comments in the comment section, your questions. I'll be there to answer all your questions. Thank you once again. Do have a lovely day. Bye.